We got a lot of luggage. Hey yo, what's up ladies and gentlemen? It's your boy and welcome back to another video. Now as you guys can probably tell, we are back with part two of the Lost Luggage Unboxing series and we've got a lot of luggage today. So, so before we even get started, I need you guys to smash the thumbs up button because I know you love this series. You guys absolutely snapped on the last video. It's almost at three million views so go off on the like button right now if you guys want to see more of this in the near future and i'm gonna be honest with you guys we got a lot of luggage here i can't open all 12 of these in one video so if you guys want to see part two where i unbox the second half of the luggage i need you guys to go off if we get 30,000 likes on this video i'm gonna be dropping part two for you guys very very soon and of course if you guys are new around here be sure to subscribe now if you guys saw the first episode we're gonna be doing things very similar just instead of dustin we're gonna be using olivia hi as you, you you turn the camera so we're gonna take half of the luggages we have here we'll have six we're gonna split them into three each but we're gonna do the reverse snake order draft kind of thing and we're gonna see who gets the best stuff so without any further ado let's get right into it let's start the draft yes that's the whole point. Oh. Okay, my first pick, I'm going with the hockey bag. We live up here in Canada. There's a lot of expensive hockey equipment in the world. This is a big ducted hockey bag. And I think, like, there's something in here. There's some weird stuff in here, so I'm interested to see what's inside. So this is my first pick. My first pick. Let's see here. To be honest, I'm just trying to figure out which luggage I want. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's a pretty good luggage. All right, speed up the process I know, I know. here. You, like, there's 30 seconds on the clock. Then this one's like leather. I'll take this one. Okay. It's leather and heavy. That brings me to a very interesting point of the video because this suitcase right here. Yeah. We actually found the owner of. Yeah. So we bought this suitcase and there's a name on the front, which I'm gonna turn around so you guys don't know it. But there's a name on the front with a number. So we called the number and it turns out, I'm pretty sure they're from Australia and they sent the stuff here because the daughter was living here for like two years. So yeah. the dad sent all the stuff here. The suitcase got lost. She since moved back to Australia. So she's not even here anymore. And obviously there's a bunch of stuff in here that they care about. So we're not gonna unbox this suitcase in this video, but I just wanted to let you guys know the kind of history behind it and like what happened with it because I thought it was really interesting. So we're gonna reunite this luggage with the owner. Oh, that's do nice. the nice thing instead of, you know, just unboxing it and exposing all their stuff. So I don't get an No, Australian you have to pick again. Luggage? But with that being said, you gotta make your first pick again. I'll do this one. They feel Italian. And sometimes Italians put valuables. Okay. They pack a lot of stuff. Maybe it's full of cheese. All right, my turn. Move it out of the way. Now what? No, 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 no. You don't get one of the big ones and the big one. What are you talking about? So you have to choose that one or that one. No, you don't get one of those. That one's that one's almost as big as mine. No, it's not. Yeah, it is. No, it's not. Yeah, it is. No. Uh-huh, and it's way nicer. Okay, choose something. Okay, I'm gonna go with this one. This is gonna be the one I, I take for now. I'm gonna save one of those big and dutties for the next video if you guys smash the like button. Okay, now I'm choosing a big one. I'm taking this one. This is a nice suitcase too. This is probably like a $300 suitcase, no? Yeah, it's Swiss Army. All right, okay. So you've got your two? Yep. Now I gotta take my small one. I'm gonna go with this one right here, just so that Olivia can't give it to her parents. <sighs> I hope my dad watches this video. Okay, go, last pick. That's it. Wait, okay, I guess I'll open, wait, let me see that one. Okay, okay, I'm taking this girl one, because maybe there's some good stuff in there. Okay, I have my three, you have your three. Yeah. These are the five left over. I think I might be missing one that's still over in my, in my basement. But, the draft is now complete. <clears throat> It's time to start unboxing. Or okay, is it count as unluggaging? Would it be unluggaging? I just call it opening. Opening. That's, yeah, that makes more sense. Okay, let's start opening. All right, since I won the draft, I'm gonna let you go first when it comes to opening these luggages. So, start with the smallest and work our way up. Okay, so this is the bag that we're opening. I'm gonna open the side pocket first. Because when Sean was upstairs, I may or may not have taken a peek. Oh my god, it's full of nail polish. I had no idea. <laughs> You're so shocked. Okay, I've actually aged because if you go to a spa... No, wait, wait, wait. Just, huh? <laughs> just Sorry, so... what? I actually want to tell you something. When you go to a spa, you use the same nail polish on everyone. So you can hygienically use anyone's nail polish. Oh, soap? Two-year-old soap? Money! 
20 ah, bucks. Ah, we got a quarter. That's Canadian quarter too. And okay, so that's right. everything on the side. Let's put I think that we all need back like... in there. Oh. All right, all right, let's get to the big center. Come on, come on. What's, What's in, in here? here? No, 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 no. Stop, what is this? Looks like costume. It's a shirt, but yeah, it looks like some type of costume bag. This is the worst bag on the history of bags. Groundbreaking fashion. I'd like to put these beside each other. This is not groundbreaking she's, fashion. She's a hipster, no doubt about it. Oh, we got a little Vabs mug in here. See the mug Vabs? Uh, maybe like a signature or something? I thought her glasses were in here, but she just uses a glasses case to hold on to her. No. Oh my god. What? I thought it said antibiotic pubic pain relief cream, but it said plus pain relief cream case. We've got oh, we do have a, a Ray-Ban's case but not Ray-Ban's glasses. Those are still like legit glasses. Yeah, these are prescription glasses. Yeah, but who's buying someone else's prescription glasses? Somebody who can't afford regular prescription glasses. We got this little thing right here. I don't even know what this is. I chose the worst luggage. I mean, this is your smallest one. Oh, we got the jewels, fam. Oh boy, oh boy, it's a little broken bracelet thing. If this is real gold, this might be worth $40. What's it look, like, real gold vibes? I, I can see this so, yeah. yeah. That's, that's gold. That's a hold on to that. There you go. A, what the? Why a screwdriver. Need... Ew, I think it's underwear. <laughs> it's lingerie. I'll puke, I'll puke. Is it? Naughty. Is it? It's lingerie, I think so. Or it might just be a bra. For sure, she's a drama teacher. It's like, it, oh, she got some big boobies. Yeah, she does. Holy hell. And then there's a bunch of random, like, oh no, a lighter. So she was she's a smoker. It. And then what is this? There's a bunch of these in here, like literally like 15 of them. No. No. What are these shades? Who wears these? Why would you ever wear these? <laughs> these have, this has to be a drama teacher. A hundred percent. A nasty drama teacher. I would say the gold bracelet could be worth some beans. This is by far the weirdest suitcase you've ever opened. Mm, you must not watch the other video. No. So in this bag, we got nail polish. We got potentially a gold bracelet. Where did the gold bracelet No, go? not losing the only <laughs> thing of value. We have some prescription eyeglasses and about 40 to $50 worth of nail polish. Yeah. All right, not bad, not bad. All right, we'll put this to, his, to the side. I and can't I'm gonna show you yours. how a real luggage connoisseur drafting affects the results of what you get. So this is actually one, you almost need this one. You almost got this one. Let's see what your boys got in this luggage here. Are you ready? I saw some really old shoes. Oh, Worst oh. bag. Ew, it's a body scrubber. <clears throat> I'll puke. Stop. <laughs> I'm gonna slide. Yo, this is a nice suitcase though. Okay, so wait. we got a bunch of, of shoes. Are these girl shoes? These no. are size 13. No, they're not. Of yes. men's, of men's, of men's. This is not a man's shoe. This is not a man's shoe. Is it? Yes, it is. Oh, okay, okay. I thought these were... This guy is a, is a fashionista over here. This guy had a whole thing just for his shoes. They, look at these shoes. These are like mad out there. Show them the side, these pointy things. They're like pointy on the side, see? That's weird. These are some like vampire ass shoes, man. Okay, so it's literally just... <sighs> a bunch of shoes okay this dude it's was going to some crazy crazy punk rock shows he had a towel yeah this is when he was just going out for dinner you know just a little more relaxed loki this guy was the least stressed when he lost his luggage this is very interesting that was the quickest unboxing or the quickest opening of, of a, a luggage. full luggage it was literally just four pairs of shoes a body scrubber? Oh, it's probably not a body scrubber. It's probably a scrubber for his shoes. Wow, this guy's really serious about this. And shoes. then, and then a towel Shoe to clean his towel. yeah to clean his shoes. If I bring these to Chad, if you guys remember Chad from Treasure Town, I think he would tell me that these could be worth a little bit of money. They're like leather. They seem fairly real. Like I don't know Whoa, if they're they fake have shoes, a but like sealed toe thing. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Like these look like expensive shoes, and with the right buyer, they could be worth like. Maybe 20 bucks each. So if you guys want to see me bring all the stuff from this luggage opening to Chad at Treasure Town and see whether or not this is worth anything, I could do that at the end of the next video. Let me know in the comment section down below. I think that would be a pretty big vab. If we get over 20K likes, I'll do that as well. Uh. Next up, what you got for My me? medium luggage. Your medium luggage. Let me open it. Because you're so much better. smarter and better. 
Okay. Okay. Right. I think this one has promise. Guys, let me know. Wait, wait, wait. Let me know in the comment section down below. Do you think this is going to be a banger or not? It's this one. The really old Italian looking one. All right, let's see what you got. No, not close. You got to dig through the clothes and see if there's anything good in here. I know, but I just want a bag of electronics. I don't think that happens. Oh, this is a quadruple XL. This is a big lady. <laughs> That's a big lady. Quad this doesn't look like a quadruple XL. No, it XL, doesn't though. actually. Oh, large. these are just large. Okay, maybe that was just she a just weird wanted shirt. a baggy shirt. Okay, okay. We got tons of clothes here. Tons and tons of clothes. I wonder if you could bring these to one of those consignment shops. For sure. Oh, this has the the nice um, shoulder pad, some Lady Gaga oh vibes. God. All right, estimated weird. age of this lady. Min, 62. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna agree with you on that one. This lady has to be mad old. No, not literally just close. No, no, anything but just close. No. I would say you'd get a good hundred and 50 bucks for all this clothes. At the consignment shop? Yeah. I could see that being a vab. So far, so dookie. <laughs> but we got a big one right here. All right, this is my big ducky. All right, let's peep the vab. Top, start with the top. You right, you right, what the hell? I don't know. Ooh, oh, no, no, let's no, go. No. I'm H, okay, no, okay. No, I want, what, what is, is it? This? Ooh. I think it's a pacemaker. Oh, the can- Oh my this god! This is actually legit. It's the Canon- Is this a power shot? No. Peep the camera vibes! I don't know how old that camera is or how much it's worth, but we gonna find out, baby. Alright, next item. You have someone's personal- Oh. Mail. Okay, this is cell probably phone. the oldest cell phone I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> Outside of a flip phone, again, no battery on it, but check this out. If you guys have any idea what this is, let me know in the comment section down below. Anyways, we also have an hospital address and emergency. Name. Did they end up at the hospital? All right, now it's actually illegal to open up somebody else's mail, so I can't open this up, but it does say Ottawa Hospital Emergency. So whoever this is, they might have had some issues when they came through Ottawa and had to stop by the hospital. We got a letter here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What? This is like a heartfelt message. This is like a love letter. These are just a whole bunch of things that reminded me of you and us. We've done so much together. Basketball games, Boston movie nights, best man, white men can't jump, please battles. The latest 28 days later, so much food, so many drinks, and to think that it all started with Tim Hortons. I love you very much, and these two years, regardless of the trials and hiccups, have been worth it. We are stronger than we've ever been, and I hope that it only gets better. Thank you for being a great boyfriend and an amazing person. You have grown so much since I met you, and I am so proud of you. You can do anything you want, even be a chiropractor. All right, so this guy's an aspiring chiropractor. And this what? is- What? A love letter from his girlfriend. That's the most valuable thing I've ever That's so done. cute. Oh, Dustin is aged. I know you're at home watching this video, just like, okay, chill, all right? It's not even duct tape, okay? <laughs> Relax, buddy, it's just regular tape. Calm down. All right, let's see what else we got. Whoa. Clothes. Oh my God, there's mold on the jacket. No, 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 no. Do, do people not fold? Just fold your clothes before you put it away. Oh, oh, cable. Oh, ethernet. What the hell does this guy got an ethernet cable for? I don't want to touch this. <gasps> What's that? An alarm. That. I'm just searching for cords. That's literally all I want. Oh, charger. He's from Europe. I knew they weren't ah, from here. He's from Europa. Yeah, he is. If you guys have ever been to Europe, you know that their plugs are different than ours, so. Oh, that smells really yeah, good. Yeah, it smells rancid. Oh, vibes! He was trying to do some cooking. We got some basmati rice. I think this was maybe from one of the gifts. Maybe they cooked rice together. Maybe all the time. and jasmine rice too. He got both. What is in the plastic bag? There's nothing else really in here. Oh, it might be a jersey. I think it's a jersey. I think it's a gift from her. No, it's. Uh, I think it's his ball shorts. Ew. Yeah, it's his ball shorts. This is gross. I, this guy must have loved basketball. Okay, so it started really promising with the camera and the phone, and then it just went downhill. All of this is just dutty old clothes that, to be honest, I have absolutely no interest in. But the fact that you got a camera out of this is crazy. The thing is, the issue with these boxes is that like, or these bags, is that they're so old, like they've been sitting around for like two years, that even if you do get tech, most of the time it's pretty obsolete. So I don't know if this camera is gonna be worth anything, 
But that's what Chad's for. So we got a alarm clock. I'm gonna say 10 bucks. We got the camera. Could be 40, 50 bucks, who knows? We got the phone. I don't think anyone wants this phone, to be honest. I'm gonna say no value. Basmati and Jasmine Rice. This is uh, probably expired. This probably expired two years ago. So I'm gonna say this is worth at least 10 grand each because expired rice is very rare, hard to get your hands on. We got 18 different plugs, an ethernet cable. This might low key be worth like five bucks. I'm gonna say that was um, mediocre. I was really, I had high hopes for that. The letter though, the letter, come on. The letter made value. everything. Bag, camera, $50. Okay. See your last bag. Get your big dutty over here. I don't want it to be full of clothes. I guarantee you there will be a lot of clothes in there. All right, let's see what's in the big center pocket. I'm gonna lift the camera up for this. Let's see. Three, two, two one, go. Oh! What? It's what? an FBI briefcase. <laughs> okay. Oh my oh, god. This is an interesting one. Uh-oh. Wait, do you need a key or something? No! All right, all right, I'm gonna set this down to help you out. Here, you pull that side and I'll pull this side and we'll try and break it. Got it. No! Oh! No! 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 A whole empty suitcase with nothing but a condom in it. They did not lock it. It's oh, it's. That is what? hilarious. They literally locked. This up thing up. was locked. Oh my god. That's so funny. These guys are trolls. That's really is that funny. A, like is that a troll? Why is there just a condom in there? Lock. This guy's a mud month. I have no idea what that is. We got a bunch of towels. What the hell? Take that. That looks like it's like heavy and real. What is this? I have no a idea. A wallet. Beans? No, it's empty. But this is a weird bag. There's like a picture frame here, a broken picture yeah, what frame. The, heck? the wallet is kind of vast. Yeah, it looks like it could be leather. Two batteries. Oh, a deck of cards? Yeah. That's fast. Well, where's this from? I think it's like Arab. Oh yeah, it does. It looks like Arabic writing on it. Yeah, a bunch of Dove soap. A bunch soap. of Dove soap. This guy was stocking up. Why does this guy have so much Dove soap? More cards. This guy likes to play cards. Eyeglasses. Some more eyeglasses, prescription eyeglasses. I don't know if they're prescription or if they're just, they're just dirty. They might just be dirty. Okay, this is the weirdest. Did he pack all his clothes? No, it's a blanket, a giant blanket. It's a HD printed extra soft blanket. Maybe this is the most expensive blanket in the world. What's that? I don't want to touch it. Is this like tiger bed sheets? Yeah, it is. No, it's not. No, it's not. Yeah. Ew, that grosses me out. It's a tiger bed sheet. That's, this guy's kind of a vibe. I don't really need to. But see. what's on it? This one? It's just red, I think. That's everything. That's everything? Well, that was anticlimactic. Oh my god, the briefcase with the condom. Yeah, okay, true. The briefcase with the condom, but I don't know how. That was anticlimactic, but climactic at the same time. <laughs> All right, that is Olivia's last no. bag. I'm gonna say this your stuff was pretty trash. Get your bag out my way. All right, last bag, ladies and gentlemen. This is the hockey bag. All right, folks, last bag of the day. Smash the like button, help us out. We need it. So far, I think it's safe to say we have not made our money back. But we do have another whole video's worth of luggage to open as well. So if you guys want to see that again, smash the like button. No, not being the worst luggage opener ever. All right, I'm gonna check the side pocket first. What do we got? Oh, what the fuck? What the hell? What is that? This is the thing that I felt earlier. This. I can see this being some antique vaps. This Let me might, see. To the right person, this could be worth a lot of money. We got, what is this? This is like some type of little carrier thing. Oh, we got some trainers, some runners. Oh, we got two pairs. These are off, but two pairs of shoes. This is an athlete kind of vibe bag, I think. They like to run maybe or something like that. Okay, let's, what? What? What is it? The Blue Planet DVD set! No, the Planet Earth. Those are expensive, oh I think. Yo, this is- The a... whole Planet Earth. The whole Planet- Oh, this is Blue Planet is, sea of, is uh, the- Series, like the- Yo, Vabs! This is actually wavy. This has got to be worth like 30 bucks, minimum. Minimum. All right, so we had the shoes. We got the Planet Earth- Oh! More, we more shoes. shoes. We got the Nikes. Okay, this guy couldn't have been like a super old dude if he was rocking these or he's a weirdo. Let's see, what do we have in here? What, the f what is that? 
Yo, what is this? Is that some type of just like decoration or something? It looks like a weapon. He has two of them. It's a bookend. Vabs. That is very interesting. We got a little Wait. coffee mug here. We've got... Handcuffs? What are these? I don't know. I've seen them. I know I have. Okay, that's everything in the side pockets. This has been interesting so far. I would say this is the most interesting one besides the briefcase Come with the condom. Let's see what we got inside the big pocket. Are you ready? Oh, this actually looks kind of nice. Yeah. We got part two of the shoe. Would you ever wear a, a shirt that you find? Absolutely not. No, mm. zero chance. We got some CDs. We got Alanis Morissette, the Canadian OG. He has an interesting taste of music. Now we got... Uh, what the? How man came into being through cannibalism, intelligence mm. can be eaten. There's like a bunch of CDs in here. Uh, that's weird. This is a weird dude. He had a Landis Moore set and then like some crooked slaughterhouse. This is something religion on the side of that. Okay, now we got all the clothes. Let's see this guy's style vibes. Let's see the style vibes. Look at this guy. This is how. Let's man see the back of that. <laughs> stop, stop, stop. Vibes. If you wouldn't wear that, you don't know clothing. No, no, the big <laughs> ducky echo jeans. Oh, this brings back memories. When I was in like grade seven, I used to rock echo hard. I don't know if you got echo and exco. I don't know if you had those where you were, but <coughs> big ducky vibes. Oh, Edmonton Eskimos. Okay, so he's probably out in Edmonton and maybe he came out east to Ottawa. No. Stop. Not the Angry Birds PJs. No, what are these? Who are these? This guy's style was on wolf. This guy had the best style in the game. The Hurley Vabs. Oh, this guy. Oh, Popeyes. He worked out. He worked out. There's sunglasses. Oh, little sunglass Vabs. There's little skulls on each side. No, 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 no. Oh, I'm aged. Wall. This might be a beard trimmer. Would you use it if it was? Probably not. Oh, this has value, ladies and gentlemen. This is either a hair trimmer or a beard trimmer. Probably both. Comes with all his shaving equipment in here. Okay, okay, okay. This has value. And just in case you want to, you know, clean off the skin off the bottom of oh, your feet. Puke. All together. Okay. Somebody might buy that to the right person. That's what it's all about, guys. All right, our boy Kenny, I think he was a bit of a savage. All right, oh, what is this? Keychain? No, it's, I don't know what that is. That's the Quebec symbol. It says, be prepared. I've never, Weird. I have no idea what that's for, what that might be for. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that's all six bags for today. Now, like I said at the beginning of the video, if you wanna see part two where we open up the rest of these luggages, I also have one hidden somewhere over there. Be sure to smash the thumbs up button. I also want you guys to tell me in the comment section down below who you would like me to do the luggage opening challenge with. So we've done it with Dustin so far and Olivia. Who do you wanna see as the next person I compete against to see who gets the best stuff? from the luggage opening in the comment section down below. Also again, smash the thumbs up button if you guys wanna see me bring all of this stuff plus what's in the next opening to Chad to see what the value of everything is. We did spend over a thousand dollars on all of this and I would say we definitely aren't even close to making our money back based off of what we opened in this video, but hopefully we got some heat in the next video because I, I got a good feeling about this one right here. Big shout out to Olivia for helping me out today. Be sure to check out her channel, link down below in the description. And I think you guys need to comment down below who won the luggage That's opening it, yes. challenge. And comment down below who you think had the best three luggages from today. What, what do you think? The, what was the best thing you got? Ooh. Probably nothing. I got a phone, a camera, I got bookends with scimitars on them. I think I won. I'ma just say I think I won. I think I won with my FBI briefcase. True, with the condom in it. That's a pretty big W right there. But it's up to you guys, so let me know in the comment section down below who you thought won. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and as always, thank you so much for watching, and I will catch you next time. Toodles!